and were you we, guys the first gold record for Roadrunner? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We were big fish, small pond. <laughs> but it, you know, so it was a new thing for them too. You know, they weren't they weren't you know used to having you know one of their one one of the acts on their roster having that kind of success. So you know, it was new for us, new for them, it was new for everybody. And then it, it was getting close. And then the the head of the label was like, you know, we got to get a gold record out of this. And it just did you play on that Roadrunner All Stars record? Yes, I thought yeah. you did. Yeah, that I, is so cool. There's some great stuff on that. The three of us played on it, except for Kenny, Peter, and Josh, and uh, and me. I, I did a, I did one a song with uh, Matt Heafy from Trivium. Yeah, like his team. I I, I did one song. And, yeah, uh, so I watched a documentary on it. I had heard the music, but I didn't know the story behind it. How they had like team captains and stuff, and that was so. Yeah. It, it's such a cool concept, and there's some great music on there. Yeah, it was pretty. I, I thought the, the the idea. I thought it was really interesting. You know, like it was you know, uh, it was never done before. So that that was cool. You know, it was cool. Like you know, like where they were like you know going really deep into the 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 label's history. Like you know, like uh, pulling King Diamond out for a song. And, you know, yeah, and yeah. Some of those older bands. You know, the Road Racer bands. Well, and if you guys are their first gold record, I mean, you guys helped establish yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, we helped. We helped them, you know. Like it was a, it was a, you know, we helped them, you know, get on the map where they were now. Like you know, they were one of the, you know, one of the players. You know, they, and they were, they were a really big uh, uh, independent label, and because they were still an independent, you know, this yeah. was before they went to uh, Universal, and uh, and this was yeah, they had you know they had a small office, uh, you know, in in Manhattan. <laughs> it was. <laughs> And uh, from there, we did, you know, we, we, we had the gold record, right? All the touring was done for Bloody Kisses. And then we were, we were only home for six months. You know, we did, uh, you know, wrote and recorded October Rust. Yeah, everything was done within six months. And then we were back on the road. I was telling Kenny maybe um, maybe we should next year or something we should do a like an October Rust anniversary where we get you guys to come in and talk about the making of that record. That that's uh what this year was what twenty seven years. Yeah, because it was August. All you guys' stuff comes out in August for some reason. I don't know. You know, like we, <laughs> some of it came out in March. We've had some September releases. You know, like but, but those two, Bloody Kisses and October Rust, they both came out. They came out in August, in the summer. And uh, we, yeah, we were right back out on the road. I mean, the record literally wasn't finished, and we were like, you know, the, the bus, the bus had pulled up to the recording studio, and we emptied out all the gear and put it on the bus and and left. And uh, Josh would, uh, this was before the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you know, Josh would be on the phone in hotel rooms, you know, talking to the engineer, telling him what to do and, you know, they, they giving him instructions on like, you know, what to do in, while we were gone. And, do you guys um, still, someone in the comments said something about Josh. Do you guys still, do you and Kenny still hang out with Josh every once in a while? Do you guys get together at all? Well, I live in Texas now, so I don't really hang out with those guys much. Uh, Kenny and Josh are related, you know, like their their wives. Oh wow, sisters. I didn't know that. So they're, yeah, they're in laws, so they, you know, they they see see each other pretty often, or you know, at, at least like you know, like sees you know Josh's kids and stuff. But uh, we uh, we're all in touch with each other, you know, a lot of texting. Yeah, yeah, you know, Josh is just over it. He's like, I'm done with that whole world. Pretty much, yeah. Like, but you know, once Peter died, you know, that was it for him. And uh, you know, and if you know Josh, you're not really surprised by that because that's that's how he was with anything. You know, like yeah. anything that it, that it, that took his interest, you know, he would just be, you know, completely consumed with it, one hundred and ten percent. So the same thing, you know, like when when typo negative was active and stuff like that, he was, you know, one hundred percent, you know, all about that. And then uh, then he he took an interest in, uh, you know, like a, you know, being a paramedic. And then he started going to school for it. And, you know, he was studying. And uh, that's why he didn't do the last tour with us. You know, uh, you know nobody knew that it was going to be the last tour. But, you know, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't take off from school. 
he was like, if I go away for those, you know, couple of weeks or whatever, it wasn't a big tour. It was, you know, just one of the Halloween runs that we would do. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, you know, can it wait until March when I finish school? And, you know, Peter and Kenny were like, no, if you need the money, we've got to go out. We're going out in October. And uh, I remember talking to my manager because he was uh, basically, Josh was saying, he goes, look, if I take off those two weeks, I'm going to have to repeat the whole year again. He goes, I'm going to fail the class and, and I'm going to have to repeat it. So I'm not doing that. And so it, it became like whatever, like a standoff. And I remember talking to our manager <laughs> at the time, right, Mike Renard. I was like, I was like, what do you think of this? He, was like, he goes, he's bluffing. He goes, when he sees the tour dates announced, he'll, he'll be there. I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> the tour dates got announced, and Josh is like, he goes, I told you guys, I'm not, I'm not doing it. And, and then I remember uh, talking with with the guys. Was, what are we gonna do? You know, we need a keyboard player. You know, it's pretty important in typo. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty important part of what we do. And you know, Peter just, you know, for, for matter of fact, you know, very nonchalant. He goes. Johnny knows a lot of people. Johnny, you go find a you go find a find a keyboard player. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, it's my problem now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, just here, here you go. This is your problem now. You'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll take care of it. And I wound up finding, you know, through through some friends, I wound up finding Scott Warner, which was, you know, which was great. But it was, it was, you know, it's not Josh and and uh. We found it, even when we got him, we still like thinking Josh is Josh ain't gonna let this happen. You know, he's he's gonna be there, and he didn't. He didn't show up. <laughs> wow, he's busy picking and, up bodies in New York. Yeah, he was. You know, he was doing his thing, and even before that, you know, like before Peter passed away, and like the last tours that we were doing and stuff, we were just like. I was thinking, I was like, this is going to be it for Josh. Josh, Josh is never getting on a bus again. He's going to be like, you know, he wanted, I, I was just figuring that he would want to be like Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, you know, work on the records, you know, like be a part, you know, do the creative thing. And then somebody else will go out and perform it every night live. <laughs> I mean, you know, cause he didn't, he didn't want to, he didn't want to, you know, he didn't want to leave the band. But he didn't want to. He didn't want to leave Brooklyn either. He didn't want to get on that bus with us anymore. 